Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. This Sunday would have been Trent Carty's 11th birthday. He died in May of 2014 in a bicycle accident near his home in Jenkins. But since his passing, Trent has been remembered for his kindness and aspirations to help others. So today's not a sad day, although we miss Trent. Today is a very happy day because we are celebrating the person that Trent was. At a remembrance ceremony held today at Jenkins Elementary, Trent's former school, representatives from Hands of Hope, a community action extension of Smile Faith Dental Ministry, and Healthcare National Marketing talked about the importance of bicycle safety, something for which Trent's family now advocates. The groups decorated Jenkins with red bicycles in remembrance of Trent. They also talked about continuing Trent's desires for and work toward being kind to others. Those are random acts of kindness. You just do it out of the goodness of your heart. It's important that, that, that we follow through with what Trent believed and, and it's also a good characteristic to have as a person to pay it forward. And so with that, um, we want to instill that ability to do so and, and, and we want our children, it all starts with our children and so we feel like that that's a, a good thing for them to have and, and to use throughout their lifetime. I know that Trent would love it. And I know that the kids haven't forgotten the kindness and the love that he showed them. And I know that it is support behind Ethan and Arabella and Trey. Those that knew Trent talked about his kindness. They also talked about his love for Batman and the color red. Many students and staff members wore red in his memory. The program concluded with a balloon release by Trent's former schoolmates at Jenkins Elementary. I'm still proud to be his brother. Hey, man, there you go. As the balloons floated away, a small grouping of balloons got tangled in utility lines, and the balloons are now hanging over top of the school. How many balloons got tangled in the lines? Eleven, which is the age Trent would have turned Sunday. Trent's family said that was him leaving his mark on the day's events. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.